Okay, let's get the latest now on the military coup in Myanmar. The army has released the names of seven opposition activists they want arrested. They're being accused of disturbing tranquility, a charge that's uh, not used very often. Large demonstrations against the military takeover are continuing across the country. Well, uh, Kwai, uh, sorry, Chao Win is the director of Burma Human Rights Network, and we can uh, speak now. Thank you very much for coming on the programme. You're most welcome. So we're seeing continued protests, no doubt bravery and courage from those on the streets. Just how long do you think the military there are going to put up with this? Um, as you, uh, you know, in the past uh, experience, the military uh, very reluctant. You know, they are very much, uh, it doesn't care about what humanity or any, any, any kind of, uh, you know, sympathy to, to the people. So they are very... Uh, they are they are willing to use any time the violent force. So what we are looking at now is uh, we have what we are seeing now is uh, the military is using very dirty tactics, you know, um, uh, creating uh, psychological pressure on the people. They have sent a group of people to, uh, yesterday night and tonight across many cities and towns in Burma. The people who are drug and they might be released from the jail very recently because yesterday. The, the, the janitor has released 23,314 prisoners, those are mostly are criminals, they have released, and some anti-Muslim hardliners as well. So they are now, what they're doing is they, 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 they are coming to the different, different direction, and the police and the, uh, the police has using the fake uh, uh, ambulance to drop these people in different, different locations across, you know, across Burma. And, and they are carrying out very heinous uh, attack to the they're committing a, a, a arson attack to the, some some areas, and we have get we received a report that some uh, some houses has been burned down yesterday last night, uh, yesterday night, um, and also they are carrying okay, when they've been arrested, they have been they have been they got the poison to put poison there in the water tank. So that's kind of things that they are doing now. Okay, uh, what about the? The options open to the protesters then, activists, many of them young, many out, of course, with their phones and uploading footage. That's one tactic. But what options are open to them to try and bring back the, uh, the democracy that they knew just, just a few days ago? You know, this is a struggle between uh, Generation Z, those Generation Z, those who are young generation. They are well aware about the technology and, and uh, they are bringing new ideas in the protest and, and they are approaching that they try to bring the police to their sides and they, they're using all the kind of possible but the problem is the Burma is now strongly supported by China and well equipped all the surveillance equipment we have receiving a lot of technologies from China they're using it against the population against us against people you know in people in Burma so this is a struggle we are having we are, we are having a little difficult and also they have a lot of uh, uh, experts on, on the psychological warfare. They are, they are creating so much psychological pressure on, on the protesters. For example, in the night time, okay. they are creating so many scaremongering attacks. And then daytime, they are on the, on the street to the group protest. So okay. I'm become, uh, you know, yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry to jump in and interrupt there, but we are coming no to the end of our uh, programme, so we have to leave it, leave it there. But thank you very much for talking us uh, through that. Chorwin, thank you.